Health authorities warned this weekend could be crucial, a crucial test of American self-control that could determine the trajectory of this outbreak. And a Fort Worth bar owner held an Independence Day event at eight days after Governor Abbott ordered all bars closed. Our cameras were the only ones there when TABC arrived to issue a warning. Our Nicole Jacobs has the story. A 4th of July celebration at the Rail Club Live in Fort Worth. One of the 51 percenters in the state ordered by the governor to close last Friday. But instead, co-owner Chris Pallone says he's taking a stand. We don't want to cause problems. We just want to be able to open and operate our business legally like everybody else. But minutes after he opened the doors, checked the temperatures of the 40 masked people he allowed inside. Right. All right, come this way. Sectioned off 10 tables, disinfected and wiped down all the surfaces. So basically, I need, just need to ask, uh, are you going to comply? Shut down? I mean, what, what is it if we don't? We don't have a drop of alcohol in that building. It doesn't matter. It's still a consider license premise. The Texas Alcoholic Beverage Commission showed up to deliver a copy of the governor's order. Malone delivered the news with his patrons' full support. And by the way, according to the U.S. Constitution, this piece of paper is worthless. The TABC said they could not comment on what took place, but an hour and a half later, the band played its final song, and those who enjoyed the show... Make it fair. That's really what it is. Make it fair say they're looking for fair mandates across the board. It shouldn't just be bars, it shouldn't just be restaurants. If, if you're going to do it, then just uh, everybody. All or nothing, they say, from the top down. And when, when Greg Abbott went out to that, that big church last week um, and the entire choir was behind him with, with Mike Pence and all that, not one of them's wearing a mask, they're all standing on top of each other. It was just a complete double standard slap in the face to the guys that are literally starving to death right now. In Fort Worth, Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News. A TABC said it planned to write a report since Pallone refused to shut down on the spot. They did not return before the conclusion of the concert. TABC has said in the past the first violation for not following the governor's order is a warning. The second is a 30-day liquor license suspension.